Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Hey guys, welcome back to Productivity Headquarters. Today we're going to do a quick run through of the new app called Folderly. And it's a cool combination of Notion and Canvas. So if you're in college, you should definitely check this app out. So once you first download it from the App Store, which is also available on Android and iOS, it'll give you a quick little run through of what you'll be seeing in the app and the things that you're also able to do. So that's things like to-do lists, creating a personalized ID, even adding in your courses. As we jump in, I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough of how I set up mine. And then I'll leave a link in the description so you can be able to download it for your device. So to start out, we're gonna actually work on our ID. And the first thing for the ID, we're gonna add in our photo. I don't show my face a lot, but we're actually gonna add that in here. We're gonna use my photo this time. We've added in a pink card and we've selected the pink logo, which I think is pretty cute. We're gonna add in our name, which is Productivity Headquarters. Afterwards, we're gonna add in our birthday. There's not an age limit or age restrictions on here necessarily. You just add your date in and you go ahead from there. Afterwards, we can add in the school, which is HQ, and then also our year level, which is senior. After you leave from there, it opens up this folder as if you just started class, and then you have your folderly mail, which is kind of like a thank you from the developer. We'll go ahead and press allow notifications, and then you kind of have a what's new area. So I'm assuming once there's new updates and different things like that, you'll get that kind of pop up for you. So the first thing we're gonna add in is a to-do, and the first to-do that we have is to complete the folderly tutorial afterwards at the bottom you can see whether it says custom or course so ours we're going to put for the label as urgent and then we're going to create a deadline for it and then it goes into your to do afterwards we're going to jump into the course so we can actually add in some course to do's so our first course that we're going to add is notion and then we're going to add in the instructor which is us productivity hq and then the room number which is youtube because you're watching this on youtube i'm going to select a few dates and add in some times and afterwards you can also change the folder and also sync it to your actual calendar list so right here we're going to add in a to do i'm going to show you guys exactly what that'll be like so it's going to be watch notion tutorial and then we're going to add it to the course notion so as soon as you add it in it'll actually be in your notion columns and then we have this mp3 player area that shows your course on the actual calendar and gives you time but if you also wanted to add to your schedule from that page, you have that option. We're going to go into the Notion folder and you see right here, it has the class information. We're going to add in a picture for our class, which is the Notion logo. And then the banner, we're just going to put up there the header that I actually use for my YouTube channel. And you see right down at the bottom, we have files. I had a cute couple files in and then those files, you can actually select them and view them inside of the app. The next thing you have is your study set, which is kind of like studying vocab words, honestly. So you can add in any kind of words in here. I just chose Notion really quickly. And then you also have links. The neat part about the links, you can also click them while you're in the app. So I'm gonna show you that really quickly. I put my website, Productivity Headquarters, and it'll take you directly there. So just like with the files you're able to view, your links open right up. And also I see that they have a pro version probably coming soon or a plus version. So that'll be something to look out for. And then also for the to-do list, it shows you the completed, ongoing, and the missed. So that's also a neat part with the confetti once they're completed and they'll be in the completed list. So let me know if you guys will check out Folderly and thanks for watching.